Learn Oilfield Stuff. Hey there! Welcome back to Learn Oilfield Stuff, the ultimate channel for all things related to the oil and gas industry. Our expert team is dedicated to bringing you informative articles in a fun and engaging way. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge of the oil field to the next level, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Welcome to our new series all about drilling rheology and hydraulics terminology. In this first part, we're going to cover the basics of what rheology and hydraulics mean. And then we'll dive into some key terms you'll need to know if you want to understand essential rheology and hydraulics terminologies. We'll be discussing things like annular velocity, consistency index, and critical flow rate. So, if you're interested in drilling, or just love learning new things, stick around for part 1 of our series. Rheology is the study of how fluids and solids deform and flow under applied forces. While hydraulics is the branch of engineering that deals with the transmission and control of fluids using pipes, valves, pumps, and other devices. Understanding these two fields is crucial in understanding how fluids behave in different hydraulic systems such as well drilling, completion and production. Now, let's dive into some of the essential rheology and hydraulics terminologies used in this field. First up, we have the annular velocity, avenue. This parameter is a measure of the average velocity of fluid moving through an annular section in a wellbore. When the pump rate is increased, the annular velocity also increases. However, this increase can have both positive and negative effects on the drilling process. Therefore, careful management of the pump rate is required to balance these effects and optimize drilling operations. Next up is annular volume, VA. This parameter refers to the volume of the annular space within a wellbore. Accurate measurement of the annular volume is important for effective management of drilling operations, including cementing and displacement processes. Average specific gravity, ASG, is a measure of the relative density of all the solids that make up a drilling fluid. Understanding the ASG of drilling fluids is important for controlling their density, which in turn affects the pressure and temperature conditions in the wellbore. By managing the ASG of drilling fluids, operators can optimize drilling performance and reduce the risk of wellbore instability and other issues. Base oil refers to the type of oil used as a primary component in drilling fluids. Accurate knowledge of the equations of state for base oil is critical in hydraulic software algorithms used to simulate the downhole pressure exerted by the drilling fluid. By understanding the unique equation of state for the base oil being used, Operators can accurately predict and manage downhole pressure, reducing the risk of wellbore instability and other issues. Barite sag is a phenomenon that can significantly impact field operations and wellbore hydraulics during drilling operations. By minimizing barite sag, operators can prevent issues such as differential sticking, lost circulation, and wellbore instability, leading to safer and more efficient drilling operations. Next, we have the Bingham Plastic Rheological Model, an outdated model used to calculate wellbore pressures. While not recommended for hydraulics calculations, it is still used to discuss and compare fluids in terms of PV and YP numbers. Bed height refers to the layer of cuttings that accumulates at the bottom of a wellbore during drilling. This layer's thickness can be affected by various factors like drilling fluid properties, flow rate, hole inclination, and the size and shape of the cuttings. Higher flow rates and more viscous fluids can help to reduce bed height, while larger and more irregularly shaped cuttings tend to increase it. Accurately measuring bed height is crucial in determining the effectiveness of cuttings transport and preventing wellbore blockages. Next up, bottom hole temperature. This is the temperature at the bottom of the wellbore, and it's essential in the oil and gas industry as it affects the performance of drilling fluids and wellbore stability. Bottom hole temperature can be used to model the dynamic temperature profile and to predict downhole rheology. Accurately measuring BHT is essential for optimizing drilling performance and minimizing risks associated with high temperatures. Moving on, let's discuss the compressibility coefficient. It is a measure of a fluid's volume change when subjected to a pressure change. The coefficient is expressed in units of Pa-1 or N per meter 2. 
The higher the coefficient, the less compressible the fluid is. The coefficient is a crucial parameter in the calculation of fluid dynamics and hydraulic simulations. It is used to predict the amount of volume change in a fluid system due to pressure changes. Now, let's talk about the consistency index. This is a measure of the viscosity of a non-Newtonian fluid at a given shear rate. It is related to the shear stress and the shear rate through an equation that also involves another parameter called the flow behavior index. The higher the consistency index, the more viscous the fluid is at a given shear rate. It is commonly used to determine the viscosity effects of a flowing fluid in the power law and herschel bulkley models. Next, we have the critical velocity. It is the velocity of fluid flow at which it transitions from laminar to turbulent. The formula for calculating the critical velocity takes into account the fluid's density and viscosity, as well as the diameter of the pipe. Understanding the critical velocity is essential in hydraulic engineering because it can help determine the amount of energy lost due to friction and turbulence in a pipe system. Lastly, let's discuss the critical flow rate. It refers to the flow rate at which the flow of a fluid changes from laminar to turbulent. The determination of the critical flow rate is important in hydraulic engineering because it can help predict pressure drops and energy losses that occur during the transition from laminar to turbulent flow. Thanks for tuning in to part 1 of our series on drilling rheology and hydraulics terminology. In this episode, we covered the basics of what rheology and hydraulics mean, and then we dove into important hydraulics terminologies. But that's just the beginning. In part 2, we'll be exploring some more hydraulics terminologies like flow regime and effective viscosity. So, if you're ready to take your understanding of drilling to the next level, make sure you tune in to part 2. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to never miss a video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.